All right, Ty, thank you for that. We also have crews in other parts of West Michigan this morning. That's right, Nicole DiDonato is live in Muskegon County doing a ride along with a tow truck driver. Good morning. Yes, good morning to you guys. I'm in literally in the back of a tow truck here. I'm joined by uh, my photographer Ryan, who's behind the camera there, but also Andrew Haikoop. He is the operations manager at Eagle Towing. Right now, things are going pretty smooth. We're on 31 on uh, in Muskegon County, heading north. Roads are clear. So, Andrew, tell us, you know, on a day like this, what are you out here doing as far as, you know, trying to keep people safe and looking for slide offs? I just want to remind everyone that if you see emergency workers to slow down and move over first, uh, moveovermichigan.com is a great resource for information. Uh, today, typically want to be out unless uh, directly called out for an incident. The roads are clear. Road crews have been doing a great job of keeping them clear through the night. And you said so the main ones, your highways, wouldn't be the biggest issues. What would be on a day like today? Uh, starting yesterday afternoon, uh, we've noticed a high impact area of uh, Oceana County in the eastern end and northern eastern uh, Mesquite County is where we spent most of our time throughout the night. Secondary roads were icing over and uh, causing slide offs. And so you expect on a day like today as well, you could see some more issues on these secondary roads because they were pretty icy, I can notice. That's where we're anticipating our yeah. uh, our impact uh, today is going to be on secondary roads. Okay. And again, if people do get in a fender bender, if they do have slide outs, do they stay in their car? What do you want them to do to be safe? I recommend everyone stay in their vehicle, contact uh, the appropriate responses that are necessary for them. So if they're hurt, 911 or their local towing company if they just need pulled out. But I highly recommend everyone stay in their vehicle okay. and have some sort of emergency kit in there if they need it. Yeah, that's very important. What can people pack along with them? I recommend a, a safety blanket, some sort of uh, warning uh, visual signals, uh, and make sure your cell phone stays charged or a way to recharge it. All right, so important. Well, we're going to keep on, on the roads and uh, just hopefully we won't have to have any contact with you. But again, if you do have to head out, obviously just stay safe. But so far here in Muskegon County on 31, and even on our way out from 96, roads were not too bad. Pretty clear, especially in the right lane. But that's the latest here in the back of uh, Eagle Towing's tow truck. I'm Nicole DiDonato. Back to you guys.